and I want to compliment uh, CCNC, TO, and CASA, first of all, for this decision to hold this joint event. Uh, this joint celebration, for me, recognizes that the respective heritage of Asian and South Asian peoples are deeply intertwined, and the histories of the two communities in Canada contain many similar experiences of adversity, resistance, and assertion. These shared experiences have had a shaping impact on the discourse of multiculturalism, human rights, equity, inclusion, and anti-racism in this country, indeed, uh, on what Canada is today. The cultural work by Canadians of Asian and South Asian ancestries, the writers, the filmmakers, the artists, the journalists, has contributed significantly to defining what constitutes Canadian culture today. They are writing and performing the story of contemporary Canada. And now, with Asians and South Asians, as you've heard, contributing, constituting the major portion of immigrants to Canada and countries of those regions emerging as key partners of Canada in trade and commerce, Canadians of these ancestries are an important bridge to Canada's prosperity. All of these are, or should be, an integral component of the Canadian fabric. Certainly, without these stories and histories of struggle, persistent strength and triumph, the narrative of Toronto and of Canada would be incomplete. Therefore, I cannot emphasize enough the importance of your theme, our stories, our histories, to the city as a whole, and not only for the Asian and South Asian communities. These stories and histories must be remembered and commemorated as integral to who we are collectively, and the city can play a leadership role in this regard. The city can formally recognize the many contributions of Asian and South Asian Canadians to city building. Its different community councils can work with the agencies and organizations in their communities to host appropriate activities to honor the part played by members of our communities to enrich the cultural, social, and economic lives in the neighborhoods of Toronto. The city's committees dealing with economic, social, and cultural matters can reach out to our communities to identify ways to engage in developing meaningful partnerships. The city can also make a commitment to working collaboratively with our organizations and its various agencies, boards, and commissions, one of which I happen to chair with this board, towards achieving greater inclusion of Asian and South Asian Canadian communities. To this end, there is a need to determine whether programs and services are culturally appropriate and whether they meet the continuing and emerging needs of members of our communities. And Fiona talked a bit about the role of her office in doing that, as well as to identify and remove any systemic barriers to full participation. All of that is to say that while the celebration of success is important, it is also necessary to do all that is needed to ensure that Asian and South Asian Canadians are full participants in the life of the larger community, that their needs are met, and that they are included in decisions affecting their lives. I welcome today's event at City Hall as an opportunity to remember the past, celebrate the present, and resolve to make a better future together. Thank you.